Hi folks, it's Colin Fraser. Thanks for joining me and in this Raza tutorial and design series we're going to take a look at the Google search that's included at the top right of your page, also called the Google Custom Search Engine. And uh, what it is, it's um, in, in most cases it should be showing up in your page. I'm going to put a preemptive because Google likes to change things around on their servers and sometimes we notice that when we we have these in templates and Google makes a slight change unless you you've updated the code um, they disappear so the default one may or may not be showing but in this case it is so that's a good sign now how to update this what we need to do is fire up a web browser and do a Google search on or search for Google CSE for custom search engine okay pull it up and it's going to pull up the custom search engine page at the top or the google.com slash CSE. Okay. And I, I mentioned do a Google search on it because if they ever change the link to that page, then my video information is going to be outdated. Okay. Next thing we need to do is, is if you haven't signed up for a Google account, it's free sign up. If you have Gmail or anything like that, then you've already got a Google account. Uh, but once you're signed into your Google account, uh, click the add button right here. For edit search engines, we want to add. Um, so the name of the site, just type in the www, then the name of your site or the domain of your site, like so. Um, and basically, name of the search engine is going to pop up down here. It's going to be the same as the domain of your site. And that's it. Hit create. Takes a second. Get code. Now put your cursor in here. Just click and it's going to select everything in there and copy. Next step, go to Dreamweaver, okay, and open up your library, your shared, and your Google search library page. Open that up. Flip it over to code view, okay. Now here's what I'm going to show you how to do. Um, right here where it says the div of GSE search, we need to keep that. But we need to get rid of all this stuff right here, this script to script, where it says script to script, select it and delete it and then edit and paste the code that you just copied in. Now when you copy that in it's going to copy in this little chunk of code right here GSE search GSE search. Now this is a special Google tag and it does not validate with w3.org so we have created our own div class that does validate. It's a bit of a pain in the neck. Um, but you need to select this line, these two lines, these two tags right here, and delete them. Okay, leaving a script and the div class of GSE search, and that's it. Save to update, and then what will happen is when somebody comes to your site and does a search, it will search only your domain. But be aware, because it is a free search tool provided by Google, they'll still provide the good old Google AdWords top and bottom and things like that. But the actual search results uh, will only show results found within your domain. But this is Google's way of giving you a free tool. They're advertising, but only providing search results for your website. 